what's going on y'all slox wax267 here make a video on um, big trade eagles did today they trade uh to the number second overall pick with the cleveland browns i think they, they gave up a fir two first on picks this year's and next year's uh this year's third and fourth pick i believe and next year's second or third pick and extra pick uh correct me if i'm wrong um i honestly think it's a good trade i like it a lot you know a lot of people hate it. I want to listen to my Miss Nelly show. A lot of people saying this is a bad trade. It's a horrible trade. Well, me as a fan, I like to have a quarterback that's a franchise quarterback. Not mediocrity. I'm not content with losing. I don't want an up and down guy. I don't want no bipolar ass quarterback. You dig? Um, shit. I want a guy that's going to be that big, that big game winning quarterback. Always able to win your championships. Leads the, lead the pack and this and that. Be that we, we haven't had that of a quarterback since McNabb. If he was like even where I just described a quarterback, but um, but still we did a lot with McNabb though. He was our franchise quarterback, and what have we had since? We had some good, a couple quarterbacks here and there. We had Vic, we had um Foles. What a, what a wonderful year, one hit wonder year. Um, took the job from um fucking Foles, not Foles, uh Kevin Cobb, Michael Vick. But I want a quarterback that's here for the long haul, long term. Like, I don't want a quarterback that's here for a couple years, then once he's done his shot, at least for us, move on, somebody else, did that work out? And once he's done, move on from him as well. I want a solid quarterback that's here for the long term. I want like a Drew Brees, a Phillip Rivers, Aaron Rodgers, um, Peyton Manning, <laughs> Tom Brady. I can go on and on with this all day long. I need me a championship winning winning quarterback, a franchise quarterback. Point blank. We don't have that. Vic was good. What did, what did he do for us? I mean, brought us some entertaining games in a couple of entertaining years, but the man threw interceptions all the damn time. Nick Foles, um... Had a wonderful year, hit one hit one year, and the next year after that, he started regressing, playing backwards and scared and shit. Cobb was a bitch and got the job took from him. Um, that was it. That's all I can think of since the McNabb era was over. You dig? But we need a quarterback bad. I mean, it's not, we have more needs, but it all starts at the position, the quarterback position. Who do you have leading your franchise in these games? Who do you have leading them? We can't have a guy that sits on the sideline, scale, with his quiet, silent, observing the game. Once it's time to go back out, just go back out, this and that, and just keep on hearing plays from the damn coach and just following that. We need somebody smart with brains that can call plays and do audibles and shit like that. We need that in the corner, quarterback. I am okay with this trade. I am not mad in the very least. In the very least, I would have been happy with golf. I would have been happy with Wentz. Really, I want Wentz. You dig? Shit. We need a franchise quarterback. Otherwise, what's the damn point? It's hard. It's, it's very rare today you get a quarterback. When when with a quarterback that's kind of mediocre, like some damn Trent Dilfer. Those days are gone. And Baltimore won that Super Bowl based off of defense. There's two things that can win a championship. A franchise quarterback, but most of all, a strong, solid defense that can win games and hold on the leads. You got those two things, you're a championship winning team. No questions asked. I'm not mad at this trade in the least. I like this trade. If, if things are... Um, True as they say they are, that the Eagles talk with the Rams and that they know that they're taking golf and we're getting wins. I am okay with that. I am fine with that. That is cool. Perfect. That is fucking awesome. If this is if this trade was down the line, if this trade was horrible, then shit. We did it like everybody else did. We did like the Redskins. We did like other teams back in the day that did um bad trades straight up for quarterbacks that failed. This could very well probably work out for us. Once the hardworking ki kid um quarterback, you know, has a high high IQ, high GPA, but I, I don't care about all that shit though. All that shit to the NFL goes in the fucking garbage. 
It's about what you do in that field. I say you let Wentz, um, draft Wentz, set him on the bench for a year, um, let him play the whole preseason, play, get most of the snaps, give some of the dames and Bradford as well, of course. Um, let him sit on the bench for a year, make him your year two quarterback starter, starting quarterback. And if Bradford has a good year, which is maybe a plus, trade him for whatever value he may have. There's always a team every year looking for a quarterback. That's the best way I can see this thing playing out. All in all, go Birds. Got your guy. Hopefully, Van don't screw us over somehow. You never know. But you got our guy. Let's go forward. Go Birds.